Okay, we're going to do a little test here of uh, full self-driving V12.6.4. Now this is a uh, HW3 computer, so we don't have the V13 yet. Uh, probably never going to get it. But I want to go over what's happened with this thing. It's not doing well at all. Uh, I've kind of stopped using it, uh, but I did a little test here. So let's see how it performs. Okay, here I'm going to have to intervene. Now you notice it just starts creeping forward. I finally just kicked it out and got through the intersection because it was it was way too hesitant. It wasn't hardly ever going to get across. Okay, here we're coming up to a another stoplight. Going to make a right turn here, and again we get really hesitant. Uh, it stops. And then it creeps a little bit. And I finally kicked it out right there. I mean, it's just trying to creep through. This is like reverting back to years ago where it was very hesitant. Now here we're coming up close to the on-ramp and we're like 21 miles an hour. Now it's speeding up a little bit, but this is a 35 mile zone. It should not be that slow. I don't know what the heck was going on, but it just kept slowing down. And it's going to get really interesting here in a minute because there's uh, a stoplight coming up. And what's going to happen is it should just stay on this road. But I, it got the navigation all screwed up. Let's watch this. Now it's moving over to the left lane where it should be. But now it's coming to a stoplight and it should go through the a light straight through, but it's not gonna do that. And notice here, it's sitting way back behind that truck at least a car link, probably more. Uh, that's new too. Now it should go straight through, but no, it makes a left turn. This is just kind of idiotic. It's not, this isn't where it's supposed to go. The freeways was straight through. Now here it's come through that uh, overpass and it's trying to figure out how to get back in the freeway. So it's going to wander up here a little bit and notice it's 21 miles an hour, just kind of 17, 12. Okay. Now it's turning. I guess that makes sense for that, but it's going to go around this block and then try to, uh, but you know, it's going like 12 miles an hour. Uh, it's just going so slow. It's crazy. Now it's, it's making this turn. And it's going to make a right turn and go back under the overpass. Now, this is kind of interesting. We're back at the underpass and it's going through here and it makes a good decision here. That big truck coming there needs a little more space. So it gives them the space. And I thought that, you know, that's not bad. But then it never did move up. And it just kind of sat there way back behind. Here we're coming up on the uh, freeway. And it's doing okay, but it is coming up here pretty slow. It's like 27 miles an hour. It should be speeding up a lot. Now, finally, it decides it's going to speed up. Um, that's kind of a departure of from the way it used to be. Now, it's going to move over. Uh, lane to get to the left lane because I guess it wants to go to the, the high speed lane. Now I wanted to note along here, this thing is tending to move over to the left. It's, it's kind of hard to tell here with this view, but 
these things used to, this car used to be right in the dead center of the lane. It would never change unless there was a large truck beside it, which would move a little bit over away from the truck, which I thought was a, a sensible sort of thing. But it tends to just kind of move over to the left. And it's done that a lot on the freeway, and I can't figure out why it's doing that. It should be in the center of the lane. Okay, for about five minutes, it didn't do anything really stupid. Uh, but I wanted to note, though, that I am in the hurry mode. Not chill, not standard. I'm in the hurry mode. And so this thing should be making, you know, well, I would have think it would be making fast decisions. Now, here we're going to come up on something. It's really stupid. This has driven me nuts. It's happened a number of times. Where, okay, right now, we're, uh, we're in a situation where there's cars kind of piling up behind us. And usually it'll move out of the way. But it doesn't for the longest time. And then, now let's just watch. Okay, this truck goes by, and I think he was behind me at one point, and now it's finally going to decide that it should turn over into the right lane. Now, it gets over halfway, comes back, gets over halfway again, or it's going to get over halfway, and I finally just kicked it out right there. Because there's a truck right behind me that's riding up my tail right there. And he must have wondered what the heck this ding dong was doing in this car. This is just, this is unacceptable. It, you can't drive that way in the freeway. Halfway through a, a lane change, there's not a car within a half a mile. And you just do something stupid. Okay, uh, for a little while here, it didn't do too bad. It uh, did tend to go over on the uh, left side sometimes. Most of the time, it wasn't too bad. But one of the things I noticed about it was it felt to me like the accelerator would accelerate just a little bit and then drop off a little bit and then drop off a little bit and then drop off it was you know again kind of hesitant about whatever was going on so i couldn't figure that out and i couldn't really explain it but uh let's follow this through a little farther okay here we're coming up over an overpass and there's going to be a uh traffic circle now, it's been doing traffic circles for the last year or so pretty much flawlessly. It gets down to about 17, 18 miles an hour uh, to go through the circle, which is about right. But now let's watch this thing. It just freaking stops. I finally kicked it out because good grief. That's what it used to do a year, year and a half ago where it could not figure out how to do these things. And it, it's gone back. It's reverted back to where it was, stopping in the middle of these stupid uh, traffic circles. So, yeah, that's really great. It's coming up here. This kind of scared me a little bit. It's about to jam the brakes. Uh, it's going at 41 miles an hour, and there's a red light, and it just kind of to stop. It should have been slowing down way earlier than that, but it didn't. Okay, now here we're coming up on a railroad track, and it's had railroad crossings. It's had problems with them in the long past, but I want you to watch the way this thing uh, works with the uh, railroad uh, crossing.
Now, all of a sudden, it's dropping. It's 31, 29, 27, 25, 23, 22. Uh, why is it slowing down so much? You didn't need to slow down maybe a little bit, but not like that. That was ridiculous. Okay, here we're coming up to a four-way stop. Usually handles these really good. But watch this as we come up the stop and that truck on the other side. Now, he beat us there. And so he should have went. Well, he starts to go. And this idiot vehicle takes off. Then I froze it here because I actually had to hit the accelerator because it started to go through the intersection and then it stopped in the middle of the intersection. So I nailed the throttle and got the silly thing through. Now let's look a little farther here. See that uh, 20 mile an hour sign with the uh, light on it? It's going to ignore it. And here you can see 20, 24, 26, and 27. I kicked it out there and dropped the speed down because it was violating the school zone, as, the, as these things have always done. They have never been able to deal with a school zone or emergency vehicle. Okay, here we're coming up on a hard right turn. This has been kind of a monster for this thing, but it, it dealt with it pretty good in the last year or so. It... Uh, Sometimes it would actually miss it and so on. But it was doing fine here. Except it comes up on it and it slows down as it should. Now it's slowing down really slow way down to where it didn't need to go that slow. It was like four miles an hour. Now here, now this is interesting. I stopped it here because I wanted to show you this. There's a 25 mile an hour speed limit sign there. Normally when it goes through here, it's thinking it's 35 miles an hour. And as soon as it makes a turn, it starts to accelerate up to 35, but then it sees a 25 mile an hour sign and it just kind of slows down to the 25 miles an hour. Well, that's all normal, that's, but that's not what it did this time. So what did it do here? It's 13, 15, 17 miles an hour, 16, 14, 11, 9. Oh, God. Okay, so I've stopped it here. Now, we're sitting there at 8 miles an hour, and it should have been accelerating up to 25. It just kind of sat there. I finally had to hit the throttle and get it to move again. Uh I'm looking at this thing. I can't even drive this thing anymore. This thing has gotten worse than it was before. Uh, it has retrograded something fierce. I don't trust it on the freeway. I don't definitely don't trust it on back roads because it, it's just way too cautious. And it's just not going to work this way. This is not going to work. And the last part of this, I was not able to get the video recorded on it, but it literally came up to my home where the uh, you can turn off in the driveway. And, of course, it'll never turn off in the driveway. It just kind of sits there and does something stupid. But it drove down the road and came up to my driveway, moved over to the far left, opposite lane, and just sat there and stopped. This thing is not ready for prime time. This this has regressed farther than I've ever seen it regress in the past. Anyway, that's it on this one.